This video is going to improve your tattoo line work drastically. This is six of the most common tattoo lining mistakes and how to avoid them. First mistake a lot of people are making is using too high of a voltage for their line work. So guys, let's do a quick sound test. Now your machine should sound something like this. So it's got a nice hum to it. It's not too aggressive. But let's crank the machine up to 11 volts. Now, as you can hear, this is way more aggressive sounding. It kind of sounds more like an electric shaver. And this is not what you want for your line work, guys. So one, your lines will wobble because the skin will reject the needle. You might get raised or scarred lines, guys. And this is quite common with a lot of tattoos. The correct way to approach these lines is going to depend on what machine and needle you're using. And just use the sound test to get a feel for it. Guys, this is a three round liner and we're using a low and slow tattoo technique. I'm using 6.5 volts. Now the next mistake on this list is having an incorrect throw. So the throw is how far the needle hangs out of the cartridge tip. And this can be affected by both gravity and the stroke of your machine. But what a lot of people are doing here is hanging out the needle too far, which drastically affects the ink flow. So as you can see here, I'm really struggling to get the ink to flow out the needle. So the needle needs to move in and out of the cartridge slightly to ensure that it picks up the ink. So the stroke is going to affect this a lot. The stroke is how far the needle moves back and forth, guys. Using a shorter throw is going to ensure that plenty of ink is flowing down the needle. It's especially important if you are tattooing at angles where gravity is not on your side. I mean, with a short throw, you could probably tattoo upside down if you wanted to. Right, so mistake number three is a massive one, and this is the incorrect approach of sharp points and angles, I meaning that you get bubbles on the tips and uh, other issues like that. Now, we need to be using two identical motions for these kinds of points. This ensures that the line weight is consistent on either side and you're not getting a dark spot on the tips of your tattoos. I'm just going to show you a quick example here of a tattoo that has been messed up by not using this method. You can see here there's bubbles on the ends of the tips. Doesn't look good, guys. So just to demonstrate an incorrect way to approach these leaves, you can see here I'm going backwards and then forwards, which is resulting in inconsistent line weights. Another thing I just want to touch on as well is that you can tattoo backwards, there is nothing wrong with that. You just don't want to be going in different directions trying to achieve the same line weight because naturally the angle is going to be different and you're going to get inconsistent lines that way. You can't always do this because you know you might be going around a curved line, kind of like this droplet here, or another factor could be the angle of your client or where you're doing the tattoo. Let's just keep that in mind as well, you can't always... Uh, do what you want to do when it comes to tattooing. Just want to let you know if you are looking for a new tattoo machine or your first tattoo machine, Dragonhawk are offering really solid machines right now and they're priced very competitively. Check out the link in the description. You can get 10% off as well using code AXEL, that is A-X-E-L. Um, but guys, you really do need a stencil printer if you are running a tattoo business. This can be really important for things like precise line work designs, you know, geometric, script, stuff like that. Uh, this is a brother pocket jet that I'm using here and this is what all the top studios are using at the moment. Now it's quite an expensive bit of equipment but let me tell you it is worth the investment. Guys we are about to get onto some powerful tips now but please do subscribe if you are enjoying the content. I have lots more videos like this on the way. Now I don't know how long you guys have been tattooing for or how many different lining needles you've tried out but it's important to use the right needle configs for the kind of tattoos that you're trying to do. Just a quick tip as well, don't ever use a single needle. Uh, they're like the most pointless thing ever. Guys, don't do it. Just use a free round liner. Many factors are going to affect your tattoo lines. So this could be the config itself, such as the round liner, hollow liner, round shader, etc. But also the gauge of the needle, meaning how thick those individual needles are. So one config I like to use is a round shader, which gives you a thicker line with less needles and also causes less trauma to the skin. But let's move on to our final mistake, guys. This is about using your machine at the correct angle. Now, a lot of artists like to tattoo quite flat to the surface they're tattooing on. You can get a lot of saturation on your lines this way you're sort of packing more ink into the dermis and um, the more upright the machine generally the less ink that's getting deposited into the skin and the thinner the lines will be it's just that your angle needs to be in the same axis of the line that you are tattooing so if you're coming in low and your needle is in the opposite axis of the line coming sideways your lines are going to come out really thick and chewed up guys and as you can see from this clip this is why beginners will have some lines that look like they're done with a nine round liner when they're actually done with a three round liner so keep your lines consistent guys that's it thanks for watching check out my other work as well and i will see you next time